Kelly, I can't believe that it's finally here. We are getting married today. I can't tell you how long I have waited to marry you and to be your husband. You make me want to be a better man and a husband to you each and every moment I am with you. Your love, patience, and kindness is something that I, that I love about you and that is some of the million reasons why I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you as your husband. I am honored today to stand up there and tell the world how much I love you and show you off to the world as my bride. I love you and will always love you. Jeremy, well, I truly can't comprehend that our day is truly here. I know that I prayed for a husband one day, but never did I think it would be someone who was so beyond measure than you. You were a man who I prayed for to be kind, gentle, and understanding, and you are all those things and more. Thank you for being my rock, my hero, my life supporter, and someone I know who will always protect me. I'm honored to be your wife, and I'm forever grateful you picked me. I will spend the rest of my life loving you and honoring you. I can't wait for our lives together as we dive into our next adventure. This will be the best one yet, marriage. Love you now, tomorrow, and always. Love, Kel. We met um, in the middle of a happy hour at Blue Martini in Phoenix. The first thing that really stood out to me um, about Kelly, well, besides her long sexy legs, was her beautiful smile and you know her fun, outgoing personality. How sure he was of himself without overdoing it and being too over the top. Some of our friends were a little carried away with all their fun and activity and needed a break, and I was standing there and she walked by, checked her out not so obviously, and. She uh, picked up on that and saw me, and then we started talking, and that's how we met. When I first told Kelly that I love her, it was uh, a couple months after we started dating. You know, we'd been going out for a while, and... We were complimenting each other, and I was kind of hoping that the, the word I love you would come out. Just kind of came out and happened. Came out in conversation, and then I said it back. so excited and um, I am just really thrilled that this day is finally here and we get to do this entire day we've been planning for so long and then that we get to be with each other forever after. The biggest thing I'm looking forward to today is seeing Jeremy's face as I walk down the aisle the first time he's going to see me all day, all ready and everything. Kelly, I'm just so excited to marry you today and I'm been, you know, up almost all night, you know, thinking about it, and I'm just really excited and can't wait. The one thing that I'm looking forward to the most is when I'm standing up there and I see Kelly for the first time. Um, I know she's just going to be stunning, and I can't wait to see her.
The first card Jeremy gave me read was things that boyfriends give their girlfriends. The second one read a shiny rock that proves I love you. As Jeremy was sitting halfway on the dock bench, he handed me the third card that read, Will You Marry Me? Once I read it and looked up, Jeremy was kneeling on one knee with the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. This is a beautiful gift that God gives us. It's one of the most incredible gifts that God gives us, and it dates all the way back to creation. When God created man and saw that there was an unmet need, so from his side, he created woman. He created us to be in relationship, that it's not good to go through life alone. And so this sacred contract of marriage that you guys are about to enter into dates all the way back to Adam and Eve. <laughs> Kelly, I don't think I can put down words how much I love you and how I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. From the very first time I met you, I knew that there was something incredible about you. Your charm and beautiful smile just drew me in. I knew early on that you were kind, loving, and incredibly generous. As I got to know you more, the more I knew I wanted to marry you. Now in front of God, our friends and family, I promise to always listen to you, to make time for you and to make you feel special. I promise to spend time with you, even if it's shopping. <laughs> I promise to be here uh, with you during times of joy and times of sadness. And most importantly, I promise to love you more each day, starting today and for the rest of my life. Jeremy, you're the most patient, calm, sincere, and kind man I've ever had the privilege of knowing, and I'm so grateful I get to marry you today. Your acceptance of me and assurance that all things will work out is such an asset to us and something I value so much. I could tell early on by how much fun we had together on vacations and by how much integrity and intelligence you carried yourself with that you were the one I wanted to marry and spend the rest of my life with. In front of God, our friends and family, I promise to love you through our brightest days and our darkest days, to always seek God's will for our marriage and to pray together, to accept and honor you as my husband, create, to create a peaceful home for you, Bailey, Abby, and Junior, <laughs> and to finally build a more deep and personal love like you do for Xbox. <laughs> Thank you for choosing me to be your wife. I know that we have what it takes to go far together. I love you with all my heart. Well, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And what God has joined together, let no man separate. Jeremy, you may kiss your bride. This is cheating. <laughs> so Jeremy's probably one of the most kind, 
caring, um, just an amazing person. Uh, I'm sure you all know. Um, I can typically confide in Jeremy. He, he sits and patiently listens to me. Uh, he's always been there to cheer me up, again, just to listen or to be a shoulder if I need it. I think these are some of the reasons that, I mean, some of the things he'll bring to the marriage is just, he's just a great guy. I mean, you're, you're lucky, and I'm just lucky to be a part of this. So thank you both. I wasn't really sure what I was going to think about this Jeremy guy. Um, but then once I met him, I realized that he has a heart of gold, uh, he's kind, he's caring, he can fix my computer. <laughs> um, I decided that with all that, that we were really happy that Jeremy was going to be joining the family, that he was going to be my son Joey's new uncle. Um, Kelly means so much to me. She's so thoughtful, she's sweet, she's funny, she's silly. Um, and despite her weird obsession for Back to the Future movies, <laughs> I still love her. And I think together through their faith in God, uh, they will build a beautiful marriage.